Hello everyone, my name is Solshus and today I'm going to show you another new method how to bypass Google account and for this method you will have to use a Google uh, Android device and then PC with Windows 10 or uh, you can, it can be also a little bit uh, older device and also USB cable. So also uh, there will be a need for the second phone but I will explain you why. So. What you have to do, you have to download application which is called Realterm2 and you can find this application on just, you can just click on the Google website and then you just type in Realterm and for best usage you should download Realterm number 2. So um, just get into Realterm, then you click download agree and proceed and then just click download and soon the download process will appear this is very light file so it should download very fast well it has uh, one megabyte so definitely that's a really fast download and then after you open this application Well, this is a setup, so let's set up it. Just click next, next, without big thinking. And then you just untick those two options. Just click finish. And here you go. So I have already have this on my desktop, so I'll just open it. And you can see the table. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we just have to proceed all the things with the, our Android device. So in this case, let's choose international language, which, which is English. And we just go further. Then we just uh, click for the Wi-Fi password. Then we proceed further. Okay, just click next here not so important just click next agree to everything well it will check the connection it will not take so long okay couldn't connect to the internet but I think there shouldn't be any problem big problem okay just click next well, we'll see again if there is any problem with the connection. Okay, so somehow I couldn't, you know, connect to the Wi-Fi, so I just just did it with the mobile data. So just let's continue. Just next, agree. Now, okay, let's check the connection. And it succeeded. <laughs> okay, so in this case we need to verify, but we cannot, so we have to connect the USB to our computer, which will do that now. Okay, since it's connected, so another thing we have to do, well, we have to close this application real time and we have to go into my this PC. And then, just we have to go into properties, then device manager, and then to modem. Okay, in this, I uh, cannot see modem. Okay, somehow, ah, yes. So it's not connected. Okay, now, now I connected my, you can see that the phone is connected because you can see modem, then Samsung mobile, you just click for properties and click on the modem and you will see come with the port with the number 3. So this is our port 
and when you just open this application real term so you will see just just let's open it and you click on the port and you will see port number three so this is the port that should be um, you know the information will be transferred but anyway this is the port uh, when you just plug the phone and you just and then after you open the program so it will automatically find this okay so what we do next we have few comments and I will just show you okay so one of them you just click this one and you just go into send and on the upper side of the fill in column uh, field you will just add this this comment which you will see in the comments below and just click send AC okay so you will see this kind of notification in the application and then you will have to click on the this kind of comment but in this case you will have to in my case I will just add the real phone number so let's see okay let's try this one okay and then you just click send okay Now it's calling the phone number. Okay, we can see the real phone number is calling. And when we pick up, we just have to click on the second, uh, yes, and we just go on the website. Okay, we just accept and continue. No, thank you. Okay, what we go next, we have to do two things. One of them is to download application from the Galaxy applications. And another thing is to download shortcut maker application. So let's show, let's tap in shortcut maker application. Okay, let's download this. Download apk file. Okay, it should start automatically, then we just click OK. Now it's downloading. Okay, and probably it's downloaded. So then what we have to do, we have to go into Galaxy Applications, Galaxy App. Okay. Samsung Galaxy apps and yes, we we'll just click here. Okay, and once we are inside this website, so we just click on the Samsung Galaxy apps. Okay, and afterwards you will have to accept everything, just agree. Then we just click on the search and we search for S file. This will be Explorer which will help to open this application. So we have to download this and here we will have to sign in. And you will have to either if you don't have, uh, if you don't possess, you will have to enter Samsung credentials or just create a new one. So in this case, I'm just entering my credentials. 
Okay, now I signed in and we'll see that it will start downloading the files. Okay, so you just accept and download. You can see it's really simple way. And okay, now, but you can see clearly that we are not on the Wi-Fi connection. We are just on the mobile data. Okay, so S file explorer is downloading and it's installing already. So I think it's installed, so just click open. Okay, now it's open. So we just will head into download. Click here, just settings, and we will have to tick unknown devices and well, we can just allow for all devices you can see now that it's allowed to install that so we just install okay then we just open and then we are searching for google account so Just you can just type Google Ads, and then we just click on the Google Account Manager. Okay, just click done. Uh, second, just click done. Google Account Manager, and then we are searching for the Google Account Android. Uh, just second, this one. This is the type email and password this is the the most important uh, i mean you will have only to click, click this one so just click on this one and then you will just have to click try okay so what you do next you do not retype any password you just click on the upper side browse sign in then just click ok and now you will have to add a new, new, uh, just you, in this case, you will have to add the new uh, Google account. So if you need, so you can create one. If you already have, so just type in your login, so email address, and then just password. And then I will show you next what to do. Okay, so after you sign in, you can see that. Okay, so it looks like that everything is working. So, uh, okay, Google Manager stopped working. But anyway, we did everything. So what you do next, you just click for restart. Okay, so just restart. And then restart. Okay, and let's wait and see what will happen next okay so we just click next Click next, next, re. Okay, now the most important part is coming. Oh no, it's again problem with the connection, but I just hope. Oh. Just let some plug in. Shouldn't. Okay, now it's proceeded to software update and I just and let's see if there will be any oh you can see account added so your first account is ready for you so you can add and remove accounts later in settings so let's just proceed next So basically this is it because you can or you can also use 
restore, but um, maybe set up as new device. Maybe let do like this way. Just do it done. Okay, next. Skip. Skip anyway. Okay, just click more, more, and next. Backing up and since just click next. Uh, your back will be downloaded from Samsung. Maybe let's just click later in this case. Okay, just click next. Finish. Okay, so you see, we have a totally new account. I mean, we bypassed Google account, we removed this. FRP log, you can see also these applications downloaded and the device is ready to use. It's already downloading many applications. So, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and wishing you a good day. So, peace out.